disappointed in some of you. All right. Uh, who wants to get it today? Let's see. A lot of candidates here. Who wants to get it today? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. There we go. Let's put this right here. Shall we? Let's put that right there. How'd that be? <laughs> you know, well, here's the thing, first of all. John Lynch is better than Ed Reed. I, that's just a fact and a reality. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't even know why this would even be a debate or an argument. Well, I, I do kind of know why, and it has to do with Miami fans and their obsession uh, with 20 years ago. Uh, in that sort of whole era or whatever, back when they were a relevant team that people paid attention to and actually had, uh, you know, a chance of winning 10-plus games or competing for meaningful things like uh, conference titles, big bowl games, playoffs, national titles, whatever. And they just don't have that anymore, so they're constantly hung up on what used to be, you know. Miami fan, Listening to Miami fans is like when you were a kid, right, and you would go over to your grandparents' house or your great-grandparents' house and listen to them talk about how amazing black and white TV was and color TV is just ruining the world. You know, Miami fans are convinced that events that happened 20, 25, and 30 years ago mean something today in the world of college football, and they just don't. They just don't. John Lynch was better than Ed Reed. The Ravens were a great defense, a great defense. Ask somebody to name a player off of that Ravens defense from back in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, whatever it was. I just ask somebody to name a player off of there. They're going to say Ray Lewis. That's just what they're going to say. They're going to say Ray Lewis. Now, he played for Miami, too, so, we'll, you know, give some credit there. They're not going to name Ed Reed. Ask somebody to name a defensive player off of that Tampa Bay Bucks team from back in the early 2000s. And nine out of nine people are clearly going to say John Lynch. The guy was absolutely amazing. He was unbelievable. One of, if not the best safeties uh, in Uncle Lou's lifetime. John Lynch, better than Ed Reed. And some of you were thinking, uh, I know what some of you were thinking. Lou, they had another dominant player on that defense the Tampa Bay Buccaneers did. Don't sell, don't sell it short, Lou. They had another, you're right. They did have another dominant player on that defense. Derek Brooks from Florida State. Derek Brooks and John Lynch, clearly the two best players, uh, especially on defense, on that Tampa Bay team 18 years ago or whatever it was uh, when they miraculously won a Super Bowl. But without John Lynch, without Derek Brooks, uh, uh, Tampa Bay doesn't win that Super Bowl. I, I don't even remember anybody else Tampa Bay had uh, on that defensive team. I don't think anybody does, and that's kind of the point. None of that matters today. And Miami fans are just so upset. You know, they're so bad today, Miami. I almost get why they do it. They they don't have anything meaningful to talk about in modern football. They, they don't. Um, you know, and, and right now they're in the comment section typing 1980 and how they have five, five national titles and all that. Listen, Georgia winning a, a natty in 1980 is not helping Georgia any in 2021. It's not. And Miami winning a, a national title in 2001 or five national titles between the late 80s and 2001, it's not helping them at all either. The difference is Georgia's a meaningful, relevant program today and Miami's not. I mean, that's just, again, I, you know, no, I don't understand how people even argue or debate that. There is no argument or debate. Miami is a totally irrelevant team. Totally irrelevant. If you've been in the ACC... For 17, 16, 17 years, whatever it is, if you've been in that conference for that long and have never even won it, you're irrelevant. So name the teams that haven't won the ACC in that time. They're all irrelevant. There's not a single relevant team in the ACC who hasn't won the ACC since uh, in 16 years. There's not one, including Miami. They're not relevant. They're not. They're not. Being relevant in 2001 doesn't have anything to do with today. I say this all the time, but Yale and Harvard have a ton of natties too. I, I, I mean, they're not any good today compared to relevant Power 5 teams, are they? No. 
That doesn't diminish what Yale and Harvard did back in the day. And no one is diminishing what Miami did back in the day. But the idea that it has anything to do with now is just potato on its face. And I get back to the original point of the video. John Lynch is better than Ed Reed. Just because there's a handful of Miami fans who think it means something that Ed Reed has been given a job that no one's ever heard of at the University of Miami doesn't somehow change the past. John Lynch was better than Ed Reed. John Lynch was better than Ed Reed. Facts. Facts. Uh, and Derek Brooks was the second best player on that team and there was no one else of note. No one else of note. No defensive tackles or defensive linemen. I don't know what you might be thinking, but that was it when you look at that Tampa Bay team. Now they're mad because Nikosi Perry is transferring. You should be happy Nikosi Perry is transferring. That frees up a scholarship for somebody that might know what they're doing because Nikosi Perry doesn't. The fact that he came in, the what was it, the second half of a bowl game that you lost and completed a couple of passes, what does that mean? What the, just, I want you to think about how far the Miami fan has sunk, how, how far Miami has fallen as a program when they're not bragging about games they won this year, they're not bragging about conference titles, they're not bragging about New Year's Six Bowls, they're not bragging about the playoffs. No, they're bragging that they lost in the Cheez-It Bowl to Oklahoma State, but... Nikosi Perry completed a few passes in the second half. That's what they're bragging about. That's the bright spot of the 2020 Miami Hurricanes football season. That Nikosi Perry came off the bench and completed a couple of passes in the second half of a loss in the Cheez-It Bowl. Him graduating uh, it is a benefit to Miami because it frees up a, a, a scholarship for somebody who might actually deserve it. You know what Nikosi Perry? Nikosi Perry is a less talented James Blackman, that quarterback from Florida State. I mean, we, sh we should just do a whole list of comparisons. John Lynch, better than Ed Reed. Uh, I mean, that's just crystal clear. Crystal clear. Um, uh, James Blackman, or whatever his name is from Florida State, the guy that weighed 90 pounds, better than Nikosi Perry. Uh, Derek Brooks from Florida State. The second most relevant player on that Tampa Bay team from 20 years ago that won the Super Bowl. No one else of note on that defense. John Lynch, Derek Brooks, and nine other people that weren't very good. Uh, that's just what it is. Uh, you know, Manny Diaz. Half of them want him fired, half of them want to keep. You know, Miami, here's the Miami fans think. The Miami fans constantly think they're one off season away from a national title. You've got to look at the big picture. You, you have to have the long view here. Miami is not one year away from anything. Uh, Miami is one year away from maybe winning a bowl game, which would be their second bowl win in the last 15 years, by the way. But yeah, Miami is one off season away from maybe winning a bowl game. Which bowl game? So, one you've never heard of. Uh, that's, that's one. Uh, Derek King's coming back. Great. Uh, what else do you have to work with? Nothing. Handy Manny doesn't know what he's doing. Y'all want the offensive staff fired every year. You want the defensive staff fired every year. You were in love with Manny Diaz because he was a Miami guy. Uh, you know, you loved Mark Rick, then you hated him. You love Manny Diaz, now you hate him. You guys, every single year that y'all don't win a national title, you want everybody fired. Um, and, and next year, no matter who you bring in, uh, all you need is a new coach, and you're winning a national title next year and every year after that. And every year, it's the same song and dance by the time the season is over. You lose a bunch of games, you haven't got, ain't got no business losing. You can't win the ACC. You've only even made it to the ACC title game once. That's so pitiful. That is so pitiful. I mean, it's just embarrassing. Imagine Nebraska, right? Nebraska's terrible, just like Miami is. 
Imagine running into a group of Nebraska fans and them trying to convince you that they're good in 2020 because they have what some people consider to be the greatest college football team of all time in 1995. And, and, and that that's relevant today. And because they had an amazing football team in 1995 who was undefeated and won a national title and beat everybody they played by 40 points, that means that next year they're most likely going to the playoffs. Just imagine how potato that would sound and then realize that's the majority of the Miami Hurricanes running around the internet, especially the ones over on Reek, uh, Reek 1219's and it, Listen, they, 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 this Reek 1219 is probably the biggest joke on all of YouTube, period. He's even a bigger joke than I am, and that's quite an accomplishment. That's hard to do. It's hard to be a bigger joke than me. Reek 1219 has somehow managed to find a way to do it, period, period. Every white guy's a racist. You know, Miami's the, the greatest team in history because they had 12 good seasons from the late 80s to the early 2000s. The rest of their existence, they've been in the, in the gutter, you know. Never mind the fact that they were absolute gutter juice for 40 years before the mid-80s. Then they were good from the mid-80s to 2002, and then they've been gutter juice since then. So, I mean, how long has Miami been around? 80 years? They've been gutter juice for 65 of those years, but because you were good for a 15-year period, but between 30 and 20 years ago, that means you're great today and you're one off season away from winning a national title. No. 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 God almighty. Somebody needs to reach through the screen and shake some sense into that Reek 1219. Everybody's a racist. Yeah, I don't know. John Lynch better than Ned Reed, though.